Hi everyone, Nolan Stacker here. Welcome to another video. I have to say I didn't expect to be making this video quite least quickly after the one that I released yesterday. So yesterday I put my thoughts around what the 2024 Sovereign might look like from a design and mintage and price point of view. But I've just received an email uh, from the Royal Mint saying that the 2024 Sovereign is now available, which is a bit of a shock. I have to say, I d normally I would have expected to see some sort of pre-notification email saying it will be released in a week, um, etc, etc. But nothing, no fanfare, no nothing like that. So I've just gone on the Mint's website and the 2024 Sovereign, as you can see, um, is now available to order. So the ones that they have up on the Mint site at the moment, so the half, the full, the three, four, and five coin sets. So all the proof versions are available. So I know I went through some of the numbers, etc., for the full the full sovereign yesterday. So we'll have a quick look at that one at now. So yesterday I said that I expected the design to be standard George and the Dragon with the uncrowned portrait of King Charles, which based on these images looks like that's the case. There's no privy mark or anything like that to make it some form of special release, which I thought the, the, the Mint might actually do just to try and get a bit of extra publicity or a bit of extra money, making it some form of slightly special design as it's the first one outside of the Coronation Sovereign. Um, so that's good to see, back to normal as it were. The mintage numbers have dropped as well, which is also what I'd have hoped. So this is back to lower than the 2021 Sovereign. So the 2021 Sovereign had 7,995 coins. This release has 7,500, which is good to see that they've dropped those back down to sort of normal levels following the Jubilee, the Memorial and the Coronation Sovereign. The one thing that is not good to see is the increase in price. So I mentioned in my video yesterday that the price was already extortionately high, having increased over a hundred pounds in a year uh, from the 2021, the Jubilee Sovereigns, etc., which are around the 580, 585 pound mark for the memorial and coronation to go up to 695 was a bit of a steep jump, considering the actual value of the metal content within these coins is like I said, about 350. So you're paying double the price just for it to be a proof limited edition, which is going to put a lot of people off, I think. And for them to now increase the price by another £30, I think is ridiculous. I don't understand why they've increased the price. I don't know if that's the mint trying to money grab as it could well be or if they think because the gold price is slightly higher at the moment that they can slap a bit of extra money on top of it. But increasing the price, I think, might put even more people off. So I've spoken to a couple of people and they're not likely to collect this sovereign due to the fact that they've only collected the proof ones recently with them being special designs. As this goes now gone back to the sort of standard design, as it were, I'm not sure that they'll necessarily collect them especially if the price has gone up, which is not great to see, I have to admit. But that's, and they're available to ship straight away, by the well, straight away within the next couple of days, which is interesting. I still don't understand why they haven't done any sort of formal release apart from the email communication that I've just received. So the standard sort of five coin sets, so you get the five sovereign, the double, the full, the half, and the quarter. I don't know if they've changed the, just looking at the the box here, I don't believe that the mint logo and writing has been this sort of yellow orange color before. Uh, I believe it's been sort of this sort of purple previously. So maybe they changed that for this release. I know there was a survey sent round to certain people um, last month, I think, around the packaging and how, well, showing options of how the Mint might change the packaging in the future. So I don't know if this is the start of them trying to 
do that um, with the packaging for the coins. So I presume that these other sets have also had an increase in price in an, in line with the full sovereign having that £30 increase. So let's have a quick look at the, the half. So there's 1,250 of these, but at £385, that's a lot of money, considering that would get you a full bullion sovereign, um, maybe not at this this precise moment with the current spot price, but they're around that sort of price range. So it's going to make it a hard pill for people to swallow to cough up this amount of money for these coins. Obviously, if you can get the five coin set, that's obviously the one with the the five sovereign, which is going to be the one that normally people go for um, or get, has the highest resale value in the future. But yeah, that's a quick look at the 2024 sovereign. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Will you be buying any of these coins? If so, how do you feel about the premium? If not, the reasons you're not buying because of the premiums. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.